Hi, I'm Dr. Al Bayar. I'm one of the surgeons here at the Center for Cancer Prevention Treatment at uh, St. Joseph Hospital. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about uh, liver tumors and different ways to treat it. Uh, in particular, uh, something called radiofrequency ablation. Most liver tumors uh, are actually tumors that have gone to the liver from another source like the colon. So if you have colon cancer, sometimes that will go to the liver and that has to be treated. The other most common uh, type of tumor that comes out of the liver is called hepatocellular carcinoma, which is a cancer that arises out of the liver and is often in the setting of uh, cirrhosis or that comes from hepatitis. In this country, it's mostly hepatitis C. Uh, in the rest of the world, it's hepatitis B is the most common cause. With screening or patients that come in with colon cancer that spread to the liver, it used to be a very fatalistic approach. And oftentimes people felt that once that happened, it amounted to a death sentence with very little chance for cure. Nowadays though, with combination treatments, we have a multidisciplinary team here at St. Joe's which involves oncologists, surgeons, radiation oncologists, and interventional radiologists. By combining all those treatments, you can actually treat the disease very aggressively and with very good results. In treating those tumors, oftentimes uh, surgical resection is generally the best option, but we can't do that all the time. A lot of times the patients have other diseases or the liver is too sick to, to have uh, an operation. And so we try to treat it with different modalities. And one of the options, particularly for small tumors, is called radiofrequency ablation. And that means applying energy directly to the tumor so that you essentially burn the entire tumor with a rim of normal liver tissue around it, which is almost as good as removing it completely. With even more advanced techniques nowadays, we can do laparoscopic approach to burning the tumors and that means we can put a few small trocars or tubes into the abdominal wall that through which we put instruments and uh, an ultrasound probe that allows us to identify where the tumor is and then we can direct the, uh, the probe directly into the tumor using the ultrasound. The patient can then oftentimes go home that evening or sometimes the next day uh, depending on how they're doing, with very little pain, very little chance for complications or bleeding or infection. And uh, if they're going to get chemotherapy, for example, that allows a shorter recovery time so they can then go to chemotherapy after that. The message I'd like to leave you with today is, is um, really a change of thought process in that with combination treatment, having tumor going to the liver or metastatic disease is no longer what we used to think of as a death sentence. With good combination treatment, particularly uh, new advances like radiofrequency ablation and chemotherapy, we can keep people going for a good long period of time, even up to years. Even if the tumor comes back, it can be retreated with good results, good outcomes, very low morbidity. Uh, some of these procedures can be done as an outpatient and people do very, very well. If there are any questions, you're welcome to call the Cancer Center. We also have a navigator for the hepatobiliary program that's able to answer your questions and try to help direct you through the entire process. Thank you very much.